Hi, this is Don, and I wanted to go over a homework problem that one of your peers was having some difficulty with. And it is in Chapter 4, Section 2, uh, which is about the binomial experiment. In this problem, we're given that 37% of college students say they use credit cards because of a reward program. You randomly select 10 college students and ask each to name the reason he or she uses credit cards. Find the probability that the number of college students is who they use credit cards because of the rewards program is exactly two, more than two, between two and five inclusive. Okay, one of the things you need to do when you're preparing and studying is to be able to recognize these word problems um, when you get to quizzes and exams, you won't have this clue that you have in the homework that this comes from section 4.2, which would tell you that that's uh, about binomial ex experiments. So let's look at this. The properties of a binomial experiment, there's n independent trials, and here we've got 10 randomly selected students, so those are independent. We've got two possible outcomes, success or failure. And in this case, they either say they do or do not use credit cards because of the reward program. So there's two outcomes. The probability of excess is P, which is the proportion, 0.37. The probability of failure we know is Q is one minus P. And P, the probability is the same for each trial. We're always going to know that 37% of the students say they use credit cards because of the rewards program. Okay, so let's solve this using Excel, and we're going to use the PHStat add-in that I've told you about. And it makes it go pretty quickly. Let's click on add-ins, PHStat. And we go down here to probability and probability distributions, and we look for the binomial. And we get this little dialog box. Our sample size is 10. The probability of the event is 0.37. We can insert that proportion, convert that proportion of 37% to 0.37. In this case, we're interested in outcomes from 2 to five. So I want to put that in there. And we want the cumulative probabilities. So I'm just going to click on OK. And we get this worksheet added to our workbook. It summarizes, again in blue, is the input data. We had a sample size of 10, probability of 0.37. It gives us the mean variance and standard deviation. Uh, for the binomial, uh, in case you have a, a problem that asks those. But then it gives this neat little table of the probabilities of the various values of x that I put in there from 2 to 5. And the first column is the probability of exactly x. In this case, probability of exactly 2 is 0.1529. And I'm going to drag... Whoops. I'm not going to drag. Go back to sheet one, and the answer was 1.153, 1 which is 1.1529 rounded. So that part is correct. The next is the probability of greater than two. So let's go back to our table, and we look over here. Our value of two for x, probability of greater than two, right there, 0 0.7794, 0 0.779. So I'll go back here and see. Yes, that's the answer they wanted. The last is inclusive from 2 to 5. Go back here to our table. We've got our values of each of the individual outcomes, 2, 3, 4, 5. And to get the total probability, inclusive from 2 to 5, let's just go equal SUM sum. And I'm going to add up those four probabilities. And that gives us the probability inclusive of from 2 to 5, probability getting 2 or 3, 4, and 5 is 0.818. And I think that is the answer there, 0.818 rounded gives you 
812. So that's how you can do it pretty quickly using StatCrunch. I'm sorry, PHStat add-in in Excel.